Here are five Mac apps that we think you should check out. Starting off with Shareful, which is an app that gives you a few more useful options when clicking on that share button. So with Shareful, users can quickly copy items, save as, save to downloads folder, etc. When launching Shareful, you'll need to enable system preferences. And then from here, you can set the destination for save as and enable what options you'd like to use. It's incredibly simple, but useful. It works with any app that has a share button, whether they are Apple first party applications or even third party apps too. Now, speaking of incredibly simple, Spotter is an open sourced app that is basically an extension of Spotlight. Now I use Spotter for things that Spotlight can't do, like quickly set a timer, play or pause music apps, skip to the next track, and even help you connect Bluetooth devices like AirPods all from the Spotter app. Now you can set up custom commands to launch Spotter and you can even set up custom keyboard shortcuts for system preferences or system settings like putting the computer to sleep, shutting it down, and much more. The app is incredibly small, literally, like it takes up no size at all on your hard drive and it's definitely worth a shot and it's totally free. Taking a break from some of these simple applications to get into something a bit more robust and our next app is Postbox. Postbox is an email app for your Mac that looks as simple and as nice as the stock mail app, but with a bunch of extra useful features for if and when you need it. The quick bar is one way that's really great to tackle your inbox. Think of it like Spotlight for your Mac again, but this time it's built for everyday email actions. You can move or copy messages, switch folders, tag or label messages, or navigate across folders by typing a few keystrokes. There are tons of options to keep your emails well organized too. You can create new folders or access old ones, Gmail tags, and much more just to keep things the way you like it. Even composing mail has so many cool features enabled that just really separates Postbox from other Mac email apps. And the best part is if you wanna change up the look, there are a bunch of different themes and options ready to customize to make it the way you want it. Postbox is free for 30 days, but $40 does get you a lifetime license, which seems like a lot, but it's way better than those other apps out there with some monthly subscriptions. The only thing I wish Postbox had was an iOS or iPadOS version. Now going back to those incredibly simple but useful apps, we have Superpowered, which for those of you who have a lot of calendar events or Zoom meetings all day, like this is really useful. This app lives in your menu bar and connects to your Google Calendar. Then whenever you have a meeting or event, you'll see a little halo glow around that menu bar where Superpowered is just kind of letting you know, giving you a notification in a much less intrusive manner and telling you that you have an event coming up which is much better than the standard notifications that kind of pop up and get in the way and can be kind of obnoxious. Another great feature is that you can just access any Zoom call or Google Meet or any video conferencing app that you have uh, right there from your menu bar. You just go up when you have the notification and you just click join meeting and you're in and that's it. And it's so much easier to find the information that you need for a calendar invite as opposed to having to open up a calendar app and really dig through the notes section of it. And it looks incredibly sleek and modern and I really love that it's just there in the menu bar for when you really need quick access. And last but not least, we have Jettison, which honestly might be one of the more hyper-specific apps and use cases on the list because it's probably for somebody like myself who's a content creator and I need to unplug SSDs, reject SD cards, and mount and remount drives, etc. Or if you dock your MacBook Pro, this could be useful too because if you dock it to your, uh, to your desk and you you know, have a bunch of drives plugged into that dock and then you always have to go in and right click or drag down to the track. That could just become kind of annoying. So what you could do is use Jettison and all you have to do is go up into the menu bar and select whether or not you want to eject all the drives, remount some drives, to just do it individually. The choice is up to you. And again, if you are someone who is unplugging a MacBook and taking it on the go, you can just set the app to auto eject when it goes to sleep. So you can basically shut your lid, assuming that that will immediately put your Mac to sleep and it will automatically eject everything else so that you can just unplug and be on your way. I definitely recommend giving this app a shot as well as all the other ones that were mentioned in this video. They'll all be linked in the description down below, but I'd love to know some of the other apps that you guys have been using down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.